Richard David Wolff born April 1, 1942, is an American Marxian economist, well known for his work on Marxian economics, economic methodology, and class analysis. He is Professor Emeritus of Economics at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and currently a visiting professor in the Graduate Program in International Affairs of the New School University in New York. Wolf has also taught economics at Yale University, City University of New York, University of Utah, University of Paris I Sorbonne, and the Brecht Forum in New York City. In 1988 he co-founded the journal Rethinking Marxism. In 2010, Wolf published Capitalism Hits the Fan, The Global Economic Meltdown and What to Do About It, also released as a DVD. He released three new books in 2012, Occupy the Economy, Challenging Capitalism, with David Barsamian San Francisco, City Lights Books, Contending Economic Theories, Neoclassical, Keynesian, and Marxian, with Stephen Resnick Cambridge, Massachusetts, and London, MIT University Press, and Democracy at Work Chicago, Haymarket Books. Wolf hosts the weekly hour-long radio program Economic Update on WBAI, 99.5 FM, New York City Pacifica Radio and is featured regularly in television, print, and Internet media. The New York Times Magazine has named him, "...America's most prominent Marxist economist." Wolf lives in Manhattan with his wife and frequent collaborator, Dr. Harriet Fraud, a practicing psychotherapist. Early and personal life Richard Wolff's parents immigrated from Europe to the United States during WW2. His father, a French lawyer working until that point in Cologne, got work in Youngstown, Ohio as a steel worker in part because his European certification was not recognized in the United States, and the family eventually settled outside New York City. His mother was a German citizen. Wolf states that his European background influenced his worldview. E everything you expect about how the world works probably will be changed in your life, that unexpected things happen, often tragic things happen, and being flexible, being aware of a whole range of different things that happen in the world, is not just a good idea as a thinking person, but it's crucial to your survival. So, for me, I grew up convinced that understanding the political and economic environment I lived in was an urgent matter that had to be done, and made me a little different from many of my fellow kids in school who didn't have that sense of the urgency of understanding how the world worked to be able to navigate an unstable and often dangerous world. That was a very important lesson for me." Wolf's father was acquainted with Max Horkheimer. Wolf earned a B.A. magna cum laude in history from Harvard in 1963 and moved on to Stanford—he attained an M.A. in economics in 1964—to study with Paul A. Barron. Barron died prematurely from a heart attack in 1964 and Wolf transferred to Yale University, where he received an M.A. in economics in 1966, M.A. in history in 1967, and a Ph.D. in economics in 1969. As a graduate student at Yale, Wolf worked as an instructor. His dissertation, Economic Aspects of British Colonialism in Kenya, 1895 1930, was eventually published in book form in 1974. In addition to his native English, Wolf is fluent in French and German. Professor Wolf lives in New York City with his wife, Dr. Harriet Fraud, a psychotherapist. They have two adult children. Professional life Wolf taught at the City College of New York from 1969 to 1973. Here he started his lifelong collaboration with fellow economist Stephen Resnick, who arrived in 1971 after being denied tenure at Yale for signing an anti-war petition. Both would then be part, along with Samuel Bowles, Herbert Gintis, and Rick Edwards, of the "...radical package." That was hired in 1973 by the Economics Department at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where Wolf has been full professor since 1981. Wolf retired in 2008 but remains professor emeritus and that year joined the new school as a visiting professor. The first co-authored academic publication by Wolf and Resnick was, "...the theory of transitional conjunctures and the transition from feudalism to capitalism." which laid out the pillars of the framework that they have worked on ever since. They formulated a non-determinist, class-analytical approach for understanding the debates regarding the transition from feudalism to capitalism. 
Their topics have included Marxian theory and value analysis, overdetermination, radical economics, international trade, business cycles, social formations, the Soviet Union, and comparing and contrasting Marxian and non-Marxian economic theories. Wolf's work with Resnick took Louis Althusser and Étienne Balibar's Reading Capital as its point of departure and developed a subtle reading of Karl Marx's Capital Volumes 2 and 3 in their influential knowledge and class. For the authors, Marxian class analysis entails the detailed study of the conditions of existences of concrete forms of performance, appropriation, and distribution of surplus labor. While there could be an infinite number of forms of surplus appropriation, the Marxist canon refers to ancient independent, slave, feudal, capitalist, and communist class processes. In 1989, Wolff joined efforts with a group of colleagues, ex and then current students to launch Rethinking Marxism, an academic journal that aims to create a platform for rethinking and developing Marxian concepts and theories within economics as well as other fields of social inquiry. He continues to serve as a member of both the editorial and the advisory boards of the journal. Wolff was a visiting professor in spring 1994 at University of Paris 1 Pantheon Sorbonne. Wolf continues to teach graduate seminars and undergraduate courses and direct dissertation research in economics at the University of Massachusetts Amherst and, most recently, in the Graduate Program in International Affairs at the New School. A founding member of the Green Party of New Haven, Connecticut, Wolf was the party's mayoral candidate in 1985. In 2011, he called for the establishment of a broad-based left-wing mass party in the United States. Wolf, especially since 2008, gives many public lectures throughout the United States and other countries. He is regular lecturer at the Brecht Forum. Wolf is often a guest on television and radio news programs, and, within the U.S., has appeared on a variety of programs, as well as writing for a number of publications and websites. Wolf hosts a weekly radio program on economics and society, Economic Update, at WBAI in New York City. One of his students, George Papandreou, went on to become Prime Minister of Greece from 2009 to 2011. Wolf remembers Papandreou as a student who sought then to become both a sophisticated and a socialist economist. However, CUNY economics professor Kostas Paniotakis observed that. After being elected Greek Prime Minister in the fall of 2009 on a platform that excoriated austerity as the wrong kind of policy to be adopted at a time of deep economic crisis, George Papandreou has reversed himself and, faced with a debt crisis, called in the International Monetary Fund and imposed the most brutal austerity program the country has ever seen. Projects. Professor. Richard Wolff is a co-founder of Democracy at Work, a non-profit media organization that advocates for democratic workplaces as a key part of a transition from capitalism to a new and better economy. The organization is based off his 2012 book, Democracy at Work, A Cure for Capitalism. Wolff also hosts the nationally syndicated program Economic Update with Richard D. Wolff, which is produced by Democracy at Work. Politics In July 2015, Wolf endorsed Massachusetts physician and Green Party candidate Jill Stein for president. Bibliography Wolf, Richard D. The Economics of Colonialism. New Haven and London, Yale University Press. ISBN 0 300 01639 5. Stephen A. Resnick, Richard D. Wolf. Rethinking Marxism Essays for Harry Magdoff and Paul Sweezy. N.Y., Autonomedia. Wolf, Richard D., Stephen A. Resnick. Economics Marxian vs. Neoclassical. Baltimore, Johns Hopkins Press. ISBN 0 8018 3479 1. Resnick, Stephen A., Richard D. Wolf. Knowledge and Class A Marxian Critique of Political Economy. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0 226 71021 1. Fraud, Harriet, Richard Wolf, Stephen Resnick. Bringing It All Back Home Class, Gender and Power in the Modern Household. Pluto Press. 
ISBN 0 7453 0707 8. Wolf, Richard D., Stephen Resnick, David F. Ruccio. Crisis and Transitions A Critique of the International Economic Order. Westview Press. ISBN 0 8133 0757 0. Gibson Graham, J. K., Stephen A. Resnick, Richard D. Wolf. Class and Its Others. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Minnesota University Press. ISBN 0 8166 3618 4. Gibson Graham, J. K., Stephen A. Resnick, Richard D. Wolf. Re Presenting Class Essays in Postmodern Marxism. Durham, North Carolina, Duke University Press. ISBN 0 8223 2709 0. Resnick, Stephen A., Richard D. Wolf. Class Theory and History, Capitalism and Communism in the USSR. N.Y., Routledge. ISBN 0-415-93317-X. Resnick, Stephen A., Richard D. Wolfe New Departures in Marxian Theory. N.Y., Routledge. ISBN 0-415-77025-4. Wolfe, Richard D. Capitalism Hits the Fan. Olive Branch Press. ISBN 1-56656-784-X. Wolf, Richard D., Stephen A. Resnick Contending Economic Theories, Neoclassical, Keynesian, and Marxian. Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press. ISBN 978-0262018005. Wolf, Richard D. Democracy at Work, A Cure for Capitalism. Chicago, Haymarket Books. ISBN 978-1608462476. Wolf, Richard D. Capitalism's Crisis Deepens – Essays on the Global Economic Meltdown. Chicago, Haymarket Books. ISBN 978-1608465958. Films Richard Wolff, 2009. Capitalism Hits the Fan, DVD. Media Education Foundation. ISBN 1-932869-30-1. Topic. See also. Paul Hurst. Stephen A. Resnick. J. K. Gibson Graham. Topic. References External links Richard D. Wolfe's website Richard D. Wolfe's UMass webpage with Stephen A. Resnick Wolfe's faculty profile at the New School Rethinking Marxism, a Journal of Economics, Culture and Society Democracy at Work A Social Movement, for Greater Economic Democracy Co-founded by Dr. Wolf Richard D. Wolf on IMDb Topic. Interviews Richard D. Wolf on Charlie Rose Capitalism in Crisis, Richard Wolf urges end to austerity, new jobs program, democratizing work. Democracy Now! March 25, 2013 the Empire Files – Understanding Marxism and Socialism with Richard Wolff. The Real News, March 21, 2016. Poverty Has Always Accompanied Capitalism. Truthout. July 3, 2016.